Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to replace the water pump in a CW5000 S&A water chiller. This would be like something you would use for a big laser cutter. This motor was tested by, um, well first noting that plugging it in causes a short circuit of the uh, temperature control unit. So when I turn it on, there's no LEDs coming on. And as soon as I unplug the motor, that display unit turns on. So the first step is to drain all of the water. And this is distilled water, so we want to use a clean bucket. Next, I'm going to remove the two screws that attach this motor on. Now, if you can get a wrench down there, that's great. But another way that might work better is just grab the nut with some needle nose pliers and then get underneath with the screwdriver. Next, you want to pull up this black rubber foam thing and expose. There's two zip ties to cut here and then these two black ones. This um, hose comes off, there's a little bit of glue if it's an original motor, but there's no barbs, so it comes off pretty easily. Next, you're going to cut these two black zip ties. Now, just carefully work off this rubber, ins this uh, foam insulation, and then cut the zip tie closest to the water pump. Using a screwdriver, pry the motor out. There's a little bit of that glue. With that wire clipped, the motor is free. Okay, just... I'm going to cut the plug, but I'm going to cut through some of this uh, shrink tube so that I can get a little more length. Just use your favorite wire joining method. I opted for shrink tube and soldering. Just install the new motor and do everything in the reverse order. So Use some pliers to make sure that the zip ties that are holding the hoses on are especially tight. You don't want them to leak. And finally, these tricky screws can go back in. Now I'll put some water back in. Now it's got the new pump and everything is working. This is such a tiny funnel.